Good morning. I've got somebody coming to look at this today. Um, Fanny. Um, I'm terrible with names. I see so many, meet so many people with the combine, but it's, their last name's Vanny. Local farmers. They've got a Lexan 770, and they're interested in this. Um, I mean, it would be for sale. Um, I don't really want to sell it just yet. I want to sort of do what I said I was going to do and use it for a season and see how it goes. I mean, I might even end up keeping it, but you know, I think you know there is a point where if somebody's offering me vast sums of money, then of course it will go. As simple as that, it will just go. Um, but yeah, I think it would have to be a, it would have to be the right amount of money. I'm not just going to let it go. Um, because I like it, and I'm glad I've got it. But we've got to start, going to start it up. And anyway, the um, fella come down here doing hedge cutting, uh, and see the combine. And obviously, the three of there's three of them here. And uh, but he saw this is the one that sort of caught his attention, as is the way that most people do seem to like this one. This is the one that attracts all the attention, really. He, yeah, and. Um, he made tracks to sort of find out who he belonged to and obviously come to me and uh, the grandson come up on Facebook and said, oh, my granddad likes your combine. And I said, oh, come and have a look at it at the weekend if you want to see it running. Got invited to take it up the road to cut alongside the 770, Lexan 770. Uh, so yeah, that should be interesting in the summer. I shouldn't think, I mean, there is a little bit of, a few bits and pieces I've noticed with it. There's a couple of little dents. The lights could do with being done. Uh, a couple of welding jobs here and there. You know, a bit tidying up at, about. But I think really, it's in pretty good condition for what it is. You know, to find one like this, you, they're very rare to find like this. Um, so yeah, I mean, it probably be as well. It's not really worth doing that much to it, I don't think, for what it's gonna do. I mean, you, you could go mad with it, but I've got the project with this C on. Um, when I come round to it and get a chance, I could do this one, I suppose, but the C is the priority at the minute. Anyway, I'm going to stick a battery on it, get it running, and let them see it working. Put it, drive it out of the van a bit. Uh, it breaks in very good on it. You have to put a bit of wood in the right place. Um, but yeah, it, should, it will start. I mean, it was pretty good. Nice and low revving thing as well. Quite a big engine for a little thing. But yeah, this uh, uh, Perkins four so it's the only one of my only one of my combines that's got a four cylinder engine on it. But it's uh, probably just about the smallest combine, even though it's not the shortest, it is a bit smaller than a gleaner really, I think. But yeah, I think they're coming now. Somebody's here. Right, see you in a minute. That's my favourite one. Well, one of them anyway.